guys, so welcome back to my channel. This tutorial is very spring inspired because it's finally getting warm here in Chicago. I'm using a lot of products that I recently received in my May BoxyCharm. This Double Ego eyeliner pen. It's in this really pretty blue. One side is a retractable eyeshadow in this really pretty blue. And then the other side is this felt tip. Also in the pretty blue for top eyeliner. So I use this on top and on bottom for eyeliner. Um, and then also there's the Star Looks and BoxyCharm collab. And it's this gorgeous lip liner. So yeah, I really liked doing this look. It was a lot of fun, very bright, very out of my comfort zone, but I really liked playing with different color eyeliners. So if you want to see how to get the look that I'm wearing right now, then just keep watching. So first I'm going to be priming my eye with the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer in the shade medium to deep and I'm just putting that all over my lid all the way up to my eyebrow in the corner of my eye and on my lower lash line. Next I'm going to be taking just a white shade in my e.l.f. palette and just setting my primer with that. Also with that same shade I'm putting it on just a small flat shader brush and I'm going to start packing it all over my lid. Next I'm taking these two pink shades and I'm just mixing them together and on that same flat shader brush I'm just putting it all over my inner corner. And then I'm just going to blend those further with a fluffy crease brush. Next I'm taking a baby blue shimmer color along with a matte more navy color and again I'm just using the flat shader brush to pack that on the outer corner. I'm also going to take Buzz from the Naked 3 palette and pack that on my inner corner and then I'm going to take Strange and highlight my brow bone with it. Now I'm going to start doing my top eyeliner with that double ended eagle eyeliner. It is a really pretty blue color and I'm just doing my top liner like normal and then making a wing. I'm just curling them and then giving them a coat of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Lash Primer. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Max Fanatic Cat Eye Mascara. Tightline, I'm just taking the retractable side of that double ego eyeliner pen. And then for my waterline, I'm going to be using my Sonia Kashuk white eyeliner pen and I'm just going to go back and forth across my waterline and then I'm also going to mix it with that blue eyeliner, the retractable side, just to make a lighter, prettier blue. Moving on to my face, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. I am in the shade 1.0 and I'm just going to pump a little bit on the back of my hand and then use my finger to dot it all over my skin. I really love this foundation. It goes on flawlessly, it's not super heavy, I would say it's medium to full coverage and it just blends so nicely into your skin. Using circular motions, I'm using my Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm just going to buff all of that foundation into your skin. For concealer, 
I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay Concealer. I'm in the shade 02 Light Pale. And I'm actually going to be using a contour brush that I got in one of my BoxyCharms. It's all about personal preference. I personally love using a fluffier brush because I feel like foundation brushes pick up too much product and they leave your skin really streaky. So that's why I'm just going to be using this contour brush because it really gets underneath my eyes and blends everything really nicely. I'm so excited that the RCMA No Color Powder is back in stock. I finally got some and I'm just using my Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just taking a little bit of this powder on my brush and I'm just setting everywhere that I put concealer to make sure I don't get any creasing. For blush, I'm just going to be using my Too Faced Sweetheart Blush in the shade Candy Glow. And just using an e.l.f. blush brush, I am putting it on the apples of my cheek and going all the way back to my hairline. To warm up my skin a little bit and to contour, I'm going to be using my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It smells like a pina colada. I absolutely love it. It is a beautiful shade. I am in the shade Light Bronzer and I'm using my Wet n Wild contour brush. I'm just using the natural curve of my cheekbones, going right underneath those cheekbones, going all the way from the ear to about the middle of your eye. You wanna just measure where the center of your eye is and go all the way down and that's where you will finish your contour. Decay Afterglow Powder Highlighter in the shade Sin and I'm using my Morphe M510 brush and I'm going on the very tops of my cheekbones and a little farther back I'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. Going back into my e.l.f. palette I'm going to be taking this really light shimmery blue and I'm taking it on a pencil brush and just bringing it from the very outer corners of my eye to the center of my eye. Going back into my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette in the shade of Buzz, I'm taking it on that same pencil brush and going from the inner corner of my eye and meeting the blue. And then I'm using my Roller Lash Mascara to do my bottom lashes as well as my top lashes. I'm not sure why I didn't show you doing my top lashes, but I promise I use Roller Lash. The final step of my face, I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in the shade 003 Natural. And I'm just going to lightly dust this all over my face. To line my lips, I'm using the Starlux Charmed Ultra Long Wear Lip Pencil. And I'm just going to line my lips and then fill it in with this lip pencil. lingerie in the shade push-up and that completes this look i hope you guys like it thanks for watching